Hey all, here are OS Reviews. A few months back, we checked out a pretty interesting accessory for laptops and monitors. It was called the Hello X2, and essentially it clipped onto the edge of your screen and added touchscreen functionality to a regular display, like a computer or even a larger monitor. I thought it was pretty neat and worked all right, and now they're actually back with the upgraded version, the Hello X3, just a few months later. The premise is similar in that it will add and transform any monitor into a touchscreen, but this time around Around, instead of using your finger to touch it, it works with a stylus that you can interact with. It clips on the left side of the display and it uses this pen that you can now use to doodle, draw, annotate, and they claim that using the pen for input compared to your fingertips will improve the accuracy up to 50%. So it can be a lot more precise as you're clicking on smaller things, uh, which is pretty neat. Again, it's compatible with any display using Mac OS or Windows, and you just simply install your driver, working from 10 inches to 27 inches. And then inside here, we have all of the accessories, including the new Hello X3 uh, with its camera sensor, really an infrared sensor that will clip onto the edge of your monitor. And we'll talk a little bit more about how it compares with the X2 later on. There's also a quick user guide, including how to set it up and download the companion app from their website. There's also the included X Pen, the new stylus. And last but not least, you also get a connection cable for the Hello X3 that is also branded, although it is using micro USB as opposed to USB Type-C. So it's still the same connection as on the X2, which I do wish they can upgrade to USB-C. All right, so here is the X3 itself. And first impressions is it's really lightweight because the entire thing is constructed out of a polycarbonate plastic this time around. So it doesn't really add as much stress or strain on the top of a display or monitor compared to to their X2, which admittedly does have a slightly more premium build because it is constructed out of solid metal, having more curved edges as part of the design. Also, the previous generation X2 is mounted onto the right side of your display versus the X3 is mounted now on the left side of the display. We can also see the same camera sensor they're using, an LED notification light, and this screw is basically for attaching it onto the monitor, so depending on the thickness of the screen, you can twist it in and twist it out just to make Make it attach itself into place. Stylus pen though it does have a metal build. There's also the same micro USB tip here used for charging. Uh, how you actually use the stylus is kind of interesting because the tip here has a small gap because when you're pressing down on it that's how it activates and then turns on and then you'll see a light here that will shine basically indicating that it's registered a press or tap and every time that you do this it will basically be emitting a small infrared light beam and then when the camera kind of detects that it will know that you've touched which point on the screen after calibrating it. So it, it does require a little bit of a pressure to actually activate, and hence the tip here is a little bit flexible, but whenever you press you can see if you've done that correctly or not using this indication light. One more accessory that you actually get with the Pro version or the deluxe version of the X3 uh, that sells for slightly more is a included kind of mouse pad. And this is a really clever idea. So basically, you can transform it into kind of a drawing or a Wacom-based art tablet. Uh, so instead of hooking this onto the top of your monitor, you can remove it from the screen and then put it down onto this mat, and the camera here will be facing downwards. You can then calibrate it and on this particular area to then annotate, draw, or scribble instead of writing directly on the display itself. So you have another option if you prefer writing on the surface of a desk. The one thing I will say though is the X3 stylus doesn't support pressure sensitivity. So unlike a Wacom pen, if you're pressing harder versus lighter, it's not going to delineate between that from the software side. Alright, so now we have it connected onto this laptop that has a 12.5 inch screen. The app is called Hello X Pen. And if we jump into that, uh, it will then kind of scan to see if the device is connected. Afterwards, you'll see this small icon on the bottom here. If it's green, it means it's already set up and ready to go. But I can also tap on it to bring up some other options like recalibration. If I do tap on tutorials, it will open up a web page that basically tells you how to attach it step by step and also giving you some prompts and videos that demos how to use it. So but let's demonstrate a recalibration. It'll bring up this menu saying long press the circle with the touch pen. So this is part of the calibration. We're going to do exactly that. Touch this dot here for a few seconds until it turns green. Afterwards, the next circle will pop up and we'll keep on doing this with the stylus point. And that is basically going to complete the calibration uh, step by step so it knows how to register different points on the screen when you are touching it with the stylus in the future. 
So it takes about 30 seconds the first time that you set it up just to recalibrate things or if you're changing it to a different display monitor. And now the light is green, meaning that we are ready to go. So we're able to start using it and we can touch things directly with the pen on this uh, display and you can see how everything is responding pretty well. And I can say something like hello, for example. There's a little bit of latency, but as a whole, the responsiveness of the screen is quite good. Now, because you do have to be pressing inwards for the tip to be kind of recognized, it does exert a little bit of pressure and even small edges of the screen have been kind of picked up here without any real problems, we're still able to paint and doodle, as you can see there, working along really just fine and pretty smooth and responsive. It's also pretty useful if you're scrolling through, say, a longer list on a web page. You can now use it directly with the stylus. Alternatively, you can also use it for PowerPoints if you're giving presentations to annotate and then just quickly draw things along. Now, to prove to you guys that this computer doesn't have a built-in touchscreen by itself, this is just the Xiaomi uh, Mi Book 12, by the way. If we disconnect this from power, and now we try to use our finger, you can see how nothing is working. Hello X has been disconnected, and nothing is functioning anymore. So, uh, again, it really does make a pretty cool difference if you want to add touchscreen capability to a non-touchscreen monitor or computer. The graphic tablet mode, again, it's a really neat idea, but one thing I have noticed is sometimes you have to really make sure this stays in place. If it moves around, obviously the calibration will also be off. Uh, and there should be maybe a component that they can add in the future to just suck it onto one spot, like a magnet, uh, since as it is, the cable kind of just sometimes wants to move it a bit. So maybe one thing that you can do to attach it onto the surface if you're using it in this mode is just something like a piece of tape. It's not going to look the most elegant, but it will at least prevent it from moving. You can use the stylus, but pressing on the four points here instead now, and we can now once again use it for interacting with different web pages, selecting different things as you can see there, kind of like a Wacom tablet, again, except without the pressure sensitivity part. But this might feel a little bit more natural if you want something closer to a giant touchpad, scrolling really without any problems, as you can see there. So pretty clever implementation. All right, so that is more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the Hello X3. This time in the form of a stylus, which is proprietary to the system, compared to the X2, which can work with just your fingertips. And this will allow you to have a slightly added precision when it comes to the touch responsiveness, as well as if you're writing things down. If you're interested, you can check out more details in the links down below. For now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the Hello X3.